Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? AC the Concert coming to you live for a new Let's Play series. Oh, guys, this has been a game I've been looking forward to playing for a while, and it's a boy and his dog. Yeah, this is going to be the best game ever. I mean, that's a, that's one mean-looking woofy he's got right there. Huh. Well, what type of game is this? Oh, wait, that's the Midway symbol. That kind of looks familiar from maybe years past. I don't know. A, a Rusa group. Oh, guys, that's two for two in association with. And I think we know it's coming up. Nautilus. Heck yes, guys. I think you. Got, if you don't know what it is by now, you know soon enough. Well, spoiler alerts right there. We're gonna be doing Let's Play Shadow Hearts two. Holy crap, guys! This, you know, out of the trilogy of Shadow Hearts games, this is by far my favorite one. It's a continuation of. The first Shadow Hearts game, because you have you'll have some connection to it. It's pretty much a whole new cast, except for a few characters that'll get mentioned here and there. And then, of course, we're gonna probably still have control of one main guy, as you can see right there. There was Yuri. Actually, I'm gonna cut here. I don't want to. I don't want to be spoiling too too much about this game. But anyways, like I'm saying, this is by far my favorite of the series. Awesome combat system. They renovated it. You're gonna have more than three party members. Per battle now, awesome bosses, whole lot of cutscenes. Oh my gosh, so many cutscenes, and there's a lot more animation to it, better graphics, better voice acting, million times better voice acting than the first time. First thing is first, I want to go ahead and go into the options, show you guys what we have in here. We got a choice of vibration. Mm, I like me good vibration, good vibration. Let's go strong with that. Uh, sound, stereo, mono, whatever your choice is. Brightness, eh, what if we darken it a little bit? Yeah, we'll go right there, that's fine. Somewhere in the middle. Subtitles, I put them on the, I guess the only, if you want to say there's a downside, I, I guess it's a mixed, it's a mixed blessing, uh, or mixed bag, if you will, uh, with the voice acting, because similar to the last game, we're going to be visiting more so Europe, maybe Asia throw in there. There's a, pretty much that, the, anything across the side of the pond, that's where we're going to be exploring. And when it comes to accents, there's basically none. I mean, we're not looking for someone to be like totally racist. Like, it's like, oh, you know, Yuri's from, I believe he was from, was he China or Japan in the first one? But you don't, you don't have, expect him to be having like the crazy thick Asian accent like, oh, Yuri, number one. No, no, no. You, you just expect, you know, something more subtle, but some connection to it. You're going to have other characters from this game that are from Germany, but if you listen to their voice acting, you would have no idea that they were German. You just got to figure it out from the storyline, where they're at, their attire, things along those lines. But, again, I guess the plus side of that is you don't have those horrendous accents. Say if you have a, the German character I'm referring to, you don't have that character going around, I will destroy, I crush, things like that. Yeah, they, they've they kind of like toned it down quite a bit in that regard. So it's, you get what, you take what you get. I like it personally just because I can always understand what they're saying. But for those who would prefer more of an accent, like more ac true accents to their characters, you're not going to get in this game. But they're going to make up for it with awesome gameplay. All right, enough of me flapping my gums on the options menu. What the hell are we doing? Let's go ahead, hit the start button, and figure out just what's going on. We're starting from the beginning, guys. Let's do a new game. Actually, during most of this cutscene here, which is going to be quite a while, I'm going to be per pretty quiet. It's, uh, it's a lot going on here, so let's, let's pay attention. Here we go. Oh, man, i got to check my specs. Kind of kind of blurry on that screen right there. Jeez. Quite a bit of heavy breathing, huh? I like it. What are you doing? Oh man, is that the wolf we were talking about earlier? Maybe, I don't know. Quite honestly, I have no idea. Dom Remy. Oh, you don't say, Dom Remy. Was that a place from the first game? Kind of sounds familiar. Whoa, what the hell? Oh man, are we having some flashbacks here or what? Okay, follow the soldier boys. They're going to lead us to victory. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. 
You must be like soldier. Run, run, run. Man, these guys forgot all, forgot all about the military step. They're just running for their lives. No, nice, peaceful looking town, kind of ominous with all the smoke in the air and the the coloring as well. well what the hell are we waiting for, guys? We got a mission to complete. Oh, what's going on? Whoosh! What? So are we flying now? I feel like I'm in Disneyland with the freaking one of those rides going by. Oh, look at all those posts with the helmets on them. Man, that's in honor of all our fall, fallen soldiers, fall, fallen comrades, if you will. Damn, that's not good. We know what to do. Let's try to give a little, little nudge, and let's keep on keeping on. All right, line up at the door before we sacrifice ourselves like we did with the other ones. Some of all the other peeps. Get the head nod. Go, go, go. Oh man, look at this, they got the criminal mind scene going on here. Break into a facility and look around a little bit. Here we go. Maybe we should play the criminal mind song. Oh, if you guys haven't seen Criminal Minds, definitely worth the show. Definitely worth watching the show. It's gonna be interesting now with uh without Shamar Moore in there. I'm I mean I'm so bummed he's gone, but uh you know, you take what you can get. Still a solid cast on that show. Hopefully Hopefully it doesn't ruin the dynamic there. Man, why am I talking criminal minds? We're talking, should we talk about Shadow Hearts 2? Shadow Hearts Covenant. Oh yeah, that was something else I wanted to mention at the title screen. I was just thinking about it. Why do they call it Shadow Hearts 2 when on the game cover here in America? It's called Shadow Hearts Covenant. Oh, what just happened? Uh, guys, not good. Oh, crap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm hearing a lot of gunfire. I mean, I don't think our guys are doing that well, though, if they're screaming for their lives that badly. Oh, what the hell was that? You, see, you guys see that flying baddie? You want to crack the window right here? Kind of hard to tell the window's cracked, but uh, tr trust me, window's cracked. Our mustachioed friends are, I didn't see anything. Man, Doc... Dr. Phil in the military, he's kind of a puss here, not gonna lie. All oh, our buddies sacrificing themselves, and you got Dr. Phil turning the other cheek. Come on, guy. Out of the way. Oh, oh Phil's pissed now. He is not gonna play. I will exercise the demon out of you. Hopefully, that came off as a pretty good impression of him. If not, sorry, guys. Alright, so let's see who we have here. Oh, she's a lady. Kind of reminds me of Kudelka right there. Going to the church, got their cross on, ready to be all religious. Like, oh, oh, Jesus, what the hell? Oh, guys, what the hell is this thing? Stained glass can have a stained floor with blood. Oh, look at this guy standing right next to her. Oh, man. What did we get ourselves into? Character designed by Kato. Miyako Kato. Not Kato Kalen. Oh, man. Just give her the husband stiff arm. Knock her right out. I understand what you're trying to do, Dr. Phil, but that's a straight up rude. I will get you once and for all. I don't know if that sounds more like Dr. Phil or Samuel L. Jackson. But anyways, let's see. Oh man, he's this demon guy is looking pretty serious here. He looks looks mad as hell. He's not gonna take it anymore. Oh, oh look at these! Get these gunshots out of here, guys. Oh, Mary is not impressed. With all oh, Jesus, didn't we beat Jesus in the first game? We did. Didn't fight Mary though. Not that I know of, at least. Unless one of the other one of those bosses was supposed to be symbolic of Mary, but. Nope, nope, we just we just beat up Jesus. No big deal. Oh man, what do we got going here? This girl just staring at this beast like it's just like what is he doing? He lifts him over his head, one handed high, slams him down to the ground. Boom. 
Throwing the grenade. Oh, oh. Kill your own comrade. What are you doing? Why would you throw the grenade right at her head? Oh, well, whoever she was, rest in peace, girl. It was nice knowing you. It was fun while it lasted. We didn't know you very long, but, you know. Oh. Oh, yeah. Where's, where's that right hand of yours going right on the on the breasticles? <laughs> All right. Well, she grunted. We know she's still alive. That's a good sign. Okay. Ooh, so shiny, so sparkly. Huh. I wonder if we've seen someone like him before. Probably not. It's it can't be anything major. I like how he's just walking off. He's like, yeah, no big deal. Oh, got bright of also. Oh. Oh man, that, that guy looks freaking familiar. I can't put my finger on it just yet, but maybe maybe it'll come to us eventually in the game. Maybe, maybe it'll all make sense soon. Well, right now though, don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, that's as much as I can remember. Hmm, that's not much there. The following day, Lieutenant Koenig. Oh, the Mets Highway. Met so she's in New York. Along with Sergeant Robert and eight survivors. Yeah, so a total of ten. Yes, That's good. It's not ain't so bad. It's a good round number. Oh, the most interesting man in the world. It is quite the story. It's quite a story. You're not it gonna believe us. To believe you. General, just give me another. Lieutenant. Oh, got shot down. Damn, girl. Come on. I actually got her, her uh, iron crosses on her gloves as well. Karen, I've already decided to do that. Oh, the most interesting man in the world sending us back. That I wonder why. But this time, Ooh, a guide. guide. Is that a promotion? A guide? I, I can't tell from her reaction if that's really a promotion or not. Have managed to push back the oh man, we got long mustachioed Hitler there. Jeez. That village alone has stubbornly refused to surrender to us and continues to remain outside mm. the Empire's grasp. Well, we're going to get it once and for all for the Empire. Has absolutely no strategic value to oh. us. Who's this For guy? The honor of hmm. the Empire, we must not allow That's right. We're going to make sure Dom Remy stands tall once and for us. all. Even if we have to face a demon itself. Is that clear? <laughs> you look. I love the, the motion in his face. Is that clear, sir? Or ma'am? Deny. What's going on? Who did? Oh. Someone dressed all in white. He's got his cross on. Either he's going to get married or... This is Cardinal oh, he's Cardinal. in Cardinal. He's oh, that, well, that's awesome. We got some priestly guy to help us figure out what's going on. Oh, little eye-to-eye -eye contact. It's like, mm, how you doing? Oh, what a gentleman shaking her hand and all that. He's not going in for a smooch or anything. Oh. What was up with the laugh right there? Oh. 1915. Early spring. We got a big war going on right here, guys. A lot of upheaval around here in Dormany, Germany. Okay, we're in Germany. It started with a single shot, and the fire of war spread within a single instant. Wasn't that what they were talking about at the very end of the first Shadow Hearts? All of Europe was engulfed. And the struggle soon grew into the first worldwide war the human race had ever Yeah, known. I think that's what they were talking about. There's that newspaper clip that the world From war the had spread. This battlefield, our story begins once again. Once again? I didn't know we did the story the first time. Unless they mean that because this is the sequel and all. Hmm, what is this clip? Oh, hey, it's ba Casa de Bacon. Oh. What is going on around here? We got some crazy clawed baddies just all up in this area. And this music's not good. Hey, big guy, what's going on? Who do you got there? Oh, you bastard! What did, what'd you do to the bacon man? Yep. Oh, bacon, buddy. Get your stuff together. Alright. Oh, hey, girl, what's going on there? Looking real good with that fiery hair and all. Mm. All right, 
right, so we're officially on the world map, similar to the last game. This is the way we're going to travel. Going to have a world map, various locations that we can choose at one time. Those are the places we can go ahead and visit. So according to this here, you can do triangle button to go ahead to open the command menu. And we can also save on the world map at any time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is, you know what? I don't want this episode to run way long, so we're actually going to cut it. But before that, I want to go ahead and explore the menu with you guys, just to show you what all different areas we got here, because we got a lot of stuff we can look at. So, as you can see, our female protagonist character that they've been showing, her name's Karen. Currently level 1 with 25 HP, 15 NP, and back like always, guys, our favorite, those sanity points. For those who didn't catch the first LP, shame on you by the way, you should be watching that before watching this one. Well, you can watch both at the same time, it works out either way. Those are the number of turns your character gets before they go into Berserk mode. So, well, Karen, we could use her four times. Three. Yeah, four times before we lose control. Um, there were instances with Yuri in the first game where, say, if you wanted to use one of his fusion spells, that he would end up using more sanity points initially just to get to that mode. Now, for, I'm blanking on if it costs us more than one each time to keep him in that mode or if it was a certain set but anyways I'm just rambling right now that's what their sanity points are and the guy we're with is Nikolai he's level 2 with 38 HP 33 MP and 8 sanity points so we can use him for a while before he starts going crazy All right, let's go ahead and just check out our inventory real quick ooh Thera leaves restores 75 HP they give 8 of them to start off with. that's real nice of them 50 MP for the mana leaves that's 8 we got 8 of those we got pure leaves here. Restore three sanity points. Awesome. I have a feeling we'll probably be using those on Karen, considering her sanity points are so low at this point. Talisman's luck. If your character dies in battle, just use one of these bad boys. It'll restore 30% of their HP. And tent does a full recovery for the whole party, but you can only use these at save points. Or on the world map. Your choice. Uh, as you can see here, too, there's a giant circle. And we'll go more into the circle later on when we talk about battles, but pretty much the way the circle works is that a bar is going to come up starting near the top and work its way down. If you hit it within that orange-yellowish section, then the item or the attack is going to work the way it's supposed to. So say in this case with the, with the Theraleaf, it'll restore 75 HP. If I were to hit it in the red, then I get a little extra boost with it. However, with that comes a gamble, because in the case, say, if I try to go for the red, I miss it and I hit it in the white area that doesn't have any coloring, I lose a turn. So I don't even get to use the item. It's so it's, or in, you know, during battle, you don't even get to do the attack. So it's kind of a, it's a gamble situation, whatever you want to do with it. I kind of prefer to go for the red for the most part, but do whatever works best for you. All right, so we've gone over the the judgment ring we've gone over the different by the way that's the name of the circle the judgment ring we've gone over the different items here and we can go ahead and give full explanation now it's okay white magic that's rice the only one who has it is nikolai and he's got two spells here he's got cure which restores a small amount of hp to one ally standard cure spell and the blessed light which is a light class special damage so what we can go ahead and do is uh, do a, a holy attack on baddies what you see here for the Judgment Ring slightly different in that you see a green section and then you also see like the whitish, the, the second section where it starts white and ends with red. Kind of patriotic in its own way. But what you're going to want to do for magic spells or anytime you see anything with green, you want to hit it once in the green section. Doesn't matter where, but that's the prerequisite. Just hit it in the green once. From then, you can go into that second patch and then follow the same rules that followed as before. So. Say if you were to use Blessed Light and you hit the X button immediately once it goes into the white area, you'll be able to do the attack, however, I should say the shade, white shade area, you'll be able to do the attack, however, it won't deal too much damage. Whereas if you get it closer to the red, you'll deal more damage. It, it's pretty self-explanatory, I feel. Alright, for our equipment here, let's see what do we have equipped here. So for... Karen, we got the officer's saber, the officer's coat for weapon and arm, respectively. No accessories at this point. Nikolai's got the Gal Galahad, Galahad, Shaka Khan, Galahad sword and a paladin's robe. Spiffy. 
strength is nine, so vitality, agility, everything nines across the board. Karen's pretty close to six across the board. Can't change her weapon, because, well, we don't have any other weapons. And you can't unequip them, I don't think, no. All right, so let's go to personal here. So what you'll see here is their status, so it gives you an idea of what their strengths are, their weight, and the piggy piggy 2 by 4 Affinity, I believe that's how often you do, you fight with characters and you also will do, at certain points you'll see during battles you could do combos. So I believe the more combos you do with different characters, the more their affinity grows. Also you can see Karen's fire base, which matches her red hair, makes sense and all. Let's read her profile, Lieutenant Karen Honig. Lieutenant in the German Imperial Army, she has been ordered by General Hyman, <laughs> General Hyman, head of the garrison at Luxembourg, to capture the village of Domremy. So that makes sense for our mission here. And as you can see here for for Nikolai, there's his strength and his weight is normal. No affinity to Karen. Let's see what says Bell's profile. Cardinal Nikolai Conrad, disguised as a priest and exorcist, he was sent to investigate the demon of Domremy. He's actually a heretic whose charming smile hides his darker side. Oh. Uh. That doesn't sound good. I thought we had an exorcist in our party. Data, we'll check this out soon. That's pretty much where you're going to load and save. Hail! We get a giant menu here, which will go over a variety of different areas. The basics, which is what we're going over now. But if you also want to get a jump start on reading about statuses, classes, cache, playtime, all that, you can do that. Everything along those lines, it's all here. Score, you get points for the further you progress in this in the game. I like that though you start at the bottom rank 99. So and there's a lot of different things you can do here. Battle data. Again, you get a rating for each item too, which is which is pretty cool. I like that. Library, this is where you're gonna get your collection of monsters and your collection of characters. So as you see here, we got General Hyman. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing whenever time I call him that. Uh, okay, that's everyone we have in our library so far. Okay. Inventory. Wait. Inventory. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so we can see our items, which we had gone over before. Key items. When we get some key items, we can look at those. Weapons, armors, and accessories. And options, which we looked at at the beginning, you can go ahead and do your vibration. Yeah. Sound, stereo, brightness. We got a few other ones here. Message speed, I want it to just appear instantaneously. I don't want to wait for the font to come up and all that. Uh, I think that should be good for us. And you know what else is good for us? Calling it an episode here, guys. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. Like always, leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't done so already share this video with your friends also make sure to follow me on twitter at ac consular all one word till next time guys this is the consular and i will see ya